Even the most talented singers can have trouble hitting the right note every single time. But pitch correction can make sure that your vocals sound nice and polished and professional. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I make videos that help you understand the fundamentals of audio engineering, such as recording, mixing, mastering, and other related topics in that area. And in today's video, we are going to talk about a simple yet effective way to get started with pitch correcting your vocals with Waves Real-Time Plugin. Now this is one of Waves' most popular plugins right now, and a great next lesson from our last video on vocal comping. Now if you haven't watched that one, I'll leave a link to it in the description, or you can just click on it right up there. But also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any new videos. It's totally free to do that. So before we get started, I want to go over some reasons why you would want to use pitch correction on your vocals. Pitch correction is a vital part of music production today. It gives us a more modern and polished sound. By correcting pitch, we can ensure that every note is in tune and on key, which creates a more pleasant listening experience for your audience. In addition, pitch correction can also help correct any imperfections in a singer's performance, allowing them to sound their best. Without pitch correction, even the most talented singers can have their performances spoiled by slight pitch inaccuracies. And most all singers today want you to make them sound their best. Therefore, it is crucial for any music producer or engineer to have a solid understanding of pitch correction techniques. Plus, with plugins like Waves Real Time, it's easier than ever to get results fast. So let's go ahead and dive into a session here and see how this plugin can work for us. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you've got the plugin all set up and downloaded and installed. It looks just like this. This is the Waves Real Time. And this is basically an auto tuner. You can get those share and T-Pain effects with this, but I don't use it as an effect unless it's called for, unless we're doing some production stuff on that. But this is just going to be a simple vocal pitch correction so that we stay in tune, we stay in the key of the song, and just have that real professional but natural sounding vocal. This is what's going to make it sound more pleasant to the listener. So if you know the key of your song, that's great. That's going to be the next step is to know which key you're in. Um, this is something that I, that I don't have the actual key of the song. So what I like to do is just stay in the chromatic scale that is uh, right here. You can go through a whole bunch. I mean, there's just tons of these things, but I'm going to stay in the chromatic scale because I don't really know what the key is and that's okay. A lot of people don't. A lot of things that you might get to mix, they don't send them to you. And I'm not about to try to just figure that out on my own. So what I like to do is just play a little bit here. Through muddy water, round high rolling high. And you can see the notes that the vocal is hitting and what this is correcting to. The main thing, now this plugin can do a lot, right? But I want to keep it simple. I want you to keep it simple because I want you to be able to just put this on a vocal and go and cor correct the pitch, have it sound as polished and professional as you can. The main thing to, to remember here is that any anytime you're doing any sort of vocal tuning, pitch correction, anything like that, you want that to be the first plug-in on your vocals or whatever you're correcting. So we've got that as our first insert here, number one. So the next thing that I want to do is look at these two knobs up here. This is going to be the main controlling knobs of what you're getting. And I just want to hit play. Through muddy water, round high rolling high. Through thorny thickets, you were on my mind. So as you can see, it's picking up what the notes are and it's showing you what it's correcting it to. Now in default, you'll probably have something like this. 
And the faster the speed is, that's what's going to give you that real auto-tuned effect. So I don't really like to go too slow on that or too fast on that. So I'll come off of that and just listen. Through muddy water, round high rolling pine, through thorny thickets. So that sounds pretty good. What I'm listening for is the transition of phrases or the transition from word to word. How does it sound the most smooth? I don't want it chopped up or anything like that. That's what's going to give it that real auto-tuned effect. And then the note transition. This is going to be how fast that transition is happening. Do I want it, you know, extremely fast? Through muddy water, round high rolling pine. So you can tell a little bit there. We're getting a little bit of that auto-tune effect. Some people like to pull back about half. Through muddy water, round high rolling pine. I think I'll go a little slower. Through thorny thickets, you were on my mind. And you'll kind of just listen for that. It's it's going to be what sounds the most natural to you, what, however much of the effect that you want on it or not. For me, vocal tuning, pitch correction, I'm the style of music that I, I get to mix the majority of the time is things that people want to sound natural. They don't want it to sound like it's being tuned. And so I'll find something around that. Everything else, I'm not looking at. You might want to, you know, check out the vibrato. Let's see what that does. Through muddy water, round high rolling pine. So for this song, I'm not going to put that on. It's, it's getting just a little bit too much for me. I would rather just have the pure naturalness of the vocalist vibrato for this song. Um, but that's something else that, you know, I'll tend to look at. The correction, I you want to make sure that that's on or you're not going to be getting any of this pitch correction. And I just had that all the way up. I want it to be 100% corrected if I am using this plugin. Down here in your range, this is just showing you the areas of where, you know, what type of singer, where you are on the keys here. I'm just going to keep that to generic because I just want all of them to be open. I don't want to exclude anything if I'm not, you know, hand picking what's going on here, where that range is. So the safest bet, just stick to it generic. We're keeping it simple here. There's a lot of things on this plugin. You've got MIDI input, not going to worry about that. That's that's something, you know, for someone else, if they want to use that, that's fine. But for vocal pitch correction, don't need it. Now, another thing that, that people get confused about sometimes is this scale uh, selection down here. Right now we're in chromatic. And what that means without getting too deep into music theory, because there's a lot involved in music theory. Uh, what this is, is just giving you all 12 of those notes in that scale, uh, even with your semitones here. So, you know, you, we've got our octave, right? C to C. So C, uh, C sharp to D or D to D flat. You know how that works. If not, you can look that up. But I want to be able to have everything going here. Now, if I was to, say, pick um, that this was in a major scale and we've got A as a default selected here, these little minus, pink minus buttons up here are letting me know that it's not going to hit those notes. So if I do know that I'm in that scale and that key, then it won't correct to those because that wouldn't be right. I don't want to do that. Um, I feel like sometimes we need those, especially in a vocal. So I'm going to stick to chromatic where it just keeps everything open. So if you like, you'll see, you'll, you'll actually see it kind of light up on which keys are going when he's going into those phrases at the beginning of them. Through muddy water. Round high rolling high. So you see when he says round, a lot of those are hit. And so I don't want to block any of those from being hit because that sounds natural to me. Now, if it was hanging on one too long, like an incorrect note too long, then that's going to sound, you know, off pitch. But 
to keep it simple because that's what we do here. We're pitch correcting simple, easy, but effectively. And that's how you do it with this. Everything else, I'm not touching. And that is pretty much how I will go and pitch correct these vocals with Waves real time plugin. And one thing to keep in mind is that this plugin is working on the entire track. So once I've got it on here, it's correcting everything that's on that track. Now we could go into like the master bypass and automate that on and off if there was a section that we didn't want the plugin to affect, but it's not like other pitch correction software like Melodyne where you can go in and actually play through a piece that you want to correct and, and hand correct that and then maybe skip a part and then correct on another section. It's not like that, but I do think that this is probably the best thing to start out with. I think it's going to um, be a great introductory plug-in to pitch correction and auto-tune if you want to go that route with uh, some dramatic effects, some vocal effects with that. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video on using the Waves real-time plug-in for auto-tuning and that auto-tuning effect. Um, but I mainly just use it for pitch correction purposes. And that's what we've just demonstrated here. But I think this is the best way to go when you are maybe starting out, maybe not even starting out. I've been doing this for over 10 years now, and this is now my go-to pitch correction plugin because I like to keep it simple too. So that's it for today's video on Waves real-time plugin for pitch correcting your vocals. Remember, pitch correction is a powerful tool. And with plugins like Waves real-time, it's easier than ever to get great sounding results. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful and informative, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this one. Also, don't leave without picking up my free guides from a start to finish song production guide, mixing tips, and free drum samples. Links to all of this and more down in the description. Or just head on over to my website, fairairmusic.com. You'll find all of these goodies in the all access tab. All right, y'all, thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.